Let it roll. Okay guys, we're gonna parge this uh, Nadura wall underneath this porch. So we got some Nadura prep coat and you mix it pretty loose. It, uh, when you first mix it, it, it's real loose and then it bucks up really fast. So it'll harden up really fast. So that's the consistency you want. If it starts to harden up, you're gonna wanna add more water to it. And then we have a mesh product here that we're gonna bed into the skim coat. So we're gonna put a skim coat on and we're gonna bed this. This is a Nadura product too. So not sure what they call it, but I'll find out. I'll give you a link to it, but we're gonna mesh this in or bed this right into it, this mesh. So I'll put a skim coat on. Biscuit's gonna be behind me working this into the wall. Then you want to let that dry like it's going to look like that get a little close up this is one coat guys and you can see the mesh through it that's not finished that's your first bed coat that's what it's going to look like when it dries and we're going to put another coat over that um that's not good enough you shouldn't you don't want to see that mesh through there so like i said that's just our our first coat and that's what we're going to do over here hey you're jumping ahead of me yep. <laughs> If you're good with a hawk, you can use a hawk here, but I'm not that good with a hawk, to be honest with you. <laughs> I suck. So I just work right out of the wheelbarrow or out of a bucket. You don't want to get this crap on your skin because it'll burn you. Got a lot of uh, lime in it. It's real sticky. That's what makes it work good. It's real sticky. Come on, Biscuit. Don't make the old man look bad here. <laughs> I was going to say, Biscuit's Please. cruising. Biscuit's on fire. Told you I'm getting good at it. He's getting good at putting the card down. Oh, he's going to be doing a good job. He's getting pretty good at mixing it, too. He's going to just sit back and let, let Biscuit, Biscuit do. <laughs> Let's get on fast. These are just, He's just showing off for the YouTube audience. No, it's he doesn't get these opportunities. He doesn't usually get opportunities to show off. You grab a wad like that and just put it on there. Mm -hmm. Then you can kind of spread it out after. Yeah. I'm just doing like a couple walls at a time, depending on how big they are, and then going down through after. You don't need to put this first coat on real thick either. Just enough to get that mesh in there. That it works better there. if it's kind of thick, though. Well, this stuff's pretty pricey, bud. He ain't buying it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Evan's thinking. I see where he's coming from. No, if you put I'm it picking on, picking up what you're putting down. If you put it on a tiny bit thick, it's easier to put that mesh in. You don't have to fight it as much. Wait, whose video is this? This is Mine, Jason. I've been doing it. This is me. Biscuit Bondo's video now. Yeah. Look, this is the little biscuit or the big biscuits video. <laughs> hey guys, Bondo here. I just wanted to do a little more in-depth video on how to parts these uh, ICF basements. Um, this would pertain to Nadura or any ICF basement. Um, the, it's going to be the same process guys. Um, I know there's different um, places you can get this parge and uh, the mesh product but you know I mean you could get it f through Nadura or wherever. I think they all got their own brand but the stuff we use here was from Nadura and I looked it up on the website and the mesh coat that we're putting in here is called fiber mesh and uh, um, the coating is just called parge mix so um, it's right on their website i looked it up just to make sure i had the terminology right but we're just um, me and my son big biscuit jason we're uh parging this underneath this porch here we did a lot of this house already but we're kind of finishing up this porch because we've we stamped this porch yesterday, guys, and uh, we stripped the forms um, before we started this, so we couldn't really do it with the forms all on there. So once the forms were off, we, we started um, prepping this thing, putting our base coat in. So basically, you know, I, I 
kind of laid it out here for you, but just to reiterate, you're just going to put a skim coat over the foam, one skim coat, you know, maybe a sixteenth of an eight inch thick, and then here in a few minutes, I'm going to show you how to press that fiber mesh in there. You're going to press the fiber mesh in and trowel it until you really don't see it anymore. A little scooper. right there YouTube that's step one I'll show you step two step two Come on, Evan. let's show him step two all right we got our fancy little mess here we're gonna put it right in there I can find the end of it step two hydrate Hydrate. Hydrate, very important. The biscuit has to hydrate. Him sweating. Sweating. Oh, he finishes the whole thing. All right. Oh, the end of that biscuit. You want a moist biscuit. You don't want a crispy biscuit. Yeah. Right. Uh, want to keep your biscuit moist. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> hey, there's zero foul play in there. This is a family station. <laughs> What? Family channel? Ain't nobody want can't dry. Be talking about. You don't want dry biscuits. We can't be talking about moist biscuits. So you get this in there, boys, like this. Oh. Is that Charlie? That'd be Charlie. I gotta talk to that man. Yeah, you, you better go talk to him. He's lining up already. He's, he hauls ass in. Yeah, he dumps as soon as he slows down. Yeah. I gotta talk to him. Yeah, you. You you, you, he doesn't even un. You can keep pressing in. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll be right back, everybody. Stay tuned. You just press it in like that until she kind of disappears. No. Take your trowel and you angle it like this. You can scrape some material up. See, so I angle my trowel like that. So scrape material, some material and through it. it back. So you're gonna put pressure on it and just wipe it out like that. So it's all covered. And if you need, like, you got a hole or something, you just scrape up some material and put it on there like that. Just fill it and wipe it out. See that one there? So I'll steal a little like that. Put it on there like that. Like that. Disappear. Just like that. And again, this you want this coat fairly smooth. But it ain't gotta be perfect to get it as good as you can. That's pretty good right there. Put a roller right there in the corner. Now it is starting to run high. Okay guys, so we're just pressing the fiber mesh in there and trawling it off. As you can see, you just kind of stick it to it with, a, see I'm putting a little pressure on it with my trowel just to get it stuck, kind of poking at it with my trowel. And then once it's all stuck on there, then we're going to go back and just kind of press it out and put, you know, as you put pressure on it, it's going to turn all gray. It'll go from that white where you can see the mesh to, it'll look just like it's parged. It'll just bed it right in there, and you won't see the mesh anymore. I mean, you can see it if you look close, but it'll it'll change colors here when you press into it. That's what you're looking for. You just want to get a full a full embed of that mesh into that product. Sometimes, if it won't bed all the way, you can just take a little more um, parge coat and just skim it a little bit. But usually, you see as you push it in, it'll if you put enough on there. You can just press it right out and there's enough product there kind of steal it here and there and uh yeah there i just grabbed a little bit out of the wheelbarrow 
as you can see just to hit that uh, little spot I stuck Jason on the low spot here he was bragging how fast he was so I stuck him on that low area it's a lot harder where you're bent right over like that so that kind of slowed him down he was he wasn't so cocky after that so that's all we're doing guys you can see I'm putting a little extra product on my trowel here to get that mesh bedding in there and that's what you do get it all bedded in so this would be uh, step number two guys step one like I said we put a little parge on there about a you know sixteenth to an eighth inch thick step two you're gonna bed the mesh in there and trowel it off so you can't see it no more just like that that's what she's gonna look like and then we're gonna come back and broom this guys stay with us we gotta we're gonna put a little broom texture to this thing I mean you can do a lot of different textures if you want but we're gonna use a broom and it's kinda nice it hides all the little trowel lines and it's a lot faster to do so we just mixed this guys and already stiffened enough a little thicker. It's only been about two minutes. Not like that on your trowel. This is coat number two. I see what you did here, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Old biscuits in the blow area again. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do here, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> Went about quarter of the way and then stopped. Yeah. Well, that's where I ran out of product, bud. Sure. Oh, I, had to mix up, I had to mix them up. Yep. That's all that was. I wasn't, mm. saving, that, I wasn't saving that real low area for him to do or nothing. No? No. I wouldn't do that to my boy. <laughs> yeah. I would never do that to my boy. <laughs> Not your boy, I'm the mailman. Son. He's the mailman, son, Ron. Yeah, that's true. Wouldn't do it to your boy, you do it to the mailman, son. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, so here's the final coat. And uh, we're just going to parge over. The mesh is somewhat dried underneath there, that first coat, after we press the mesh in. Kind of let that dry enough where you can parge right over it with this final coat. Coat number two is what it is, but you only need two coats if you put it on, right? And uh, like I said, I'll show you guys. Stay with us. I'm going to show you how to broom this thing, which I think is a lot easier to broom it out. That's <laughs> the scoop and throw method. Scoop. Boom! Boom! Just like that. That's what you leave with it, like that. And you push it around like that. Oh. We're getting a stucco look. How's that? Yeah. The old stucco. Ooh, look at that, huh? Right there's the way you do it, huh? He's quite literally having too much fun. <laughs> Because this job's coming to an end. <laughs> That's why I'm having fun. What is lunch screaming your name? What's that? What is lunch screaming your name? Yeah, yeah. Lunch. Lunch for me for hours. <laughs> <laughs> Pig biscuit. biscuit. I like to eat. He should be on lunch number two. <laughs> he hasn't even hit number one or <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> This, no, I had a couple of pretzels for breakfast. Biscuit's hungry. <laughs> you gotta be careful, he'll eat you. <laughs> that boy's gonna eat me. <laughs> All you gotta do is promise him lunch. Say, when we get this done, we're gonna eat lunch. And this shit'll go on real quick. <laughs> we'll be done so fast. Give him a little start. water, too. Moisten him up. Biscuits. You can't have a dry biscuit. He already said that. Gotta have a moist biscuit. Gotta have a moist biscuit. <laughs> we like our biscuits moist. 
So guys, if you're new to my channel, my name's Ron Bond. I got a company called Bondo Build Construction. And we do a lot of this kind of stuff, guys, building basements out of these Nodura blocks, these ICFs. And we pour a lot of concrete. We do stampcrete and uh, pool decks, sidewalks, you name it. Um, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, we do radiant heat work underneath concrete, light excavation. I try to get everything I can on, on video for you guys, try to help you out. I've been doing this stuff for like 30 years, so um, if you like it, you know, check out my channel, guys, and think about hitting the subscribe button. And uh, if you like this video or any of my videos, make sure and hit the like button because that'll help me out on YouTube. All right. Okay, guys, so we put our second coat on. This is already done, this here. I'm going to show you how we did it. So we had our first coat on with our mesh that dried. We put another skim coat on, which is going to look like that. It ain't got to be perfectly flat, but get it pretty good. And then I just got this old broom. You can use different textures of broom, but this is just a kind of a stiff bristle broom. Get yourself a bucket of water. Get your bristles real wet like that. And just brush it out like this. I'll take all those trowel lines out. Get real wet again. To get your lines as straight as you can. You want to do this pretty quick after you parge it because it dries fast. If it starts to get away from you, just hit it with water like that. That'll, that'll bring it back to life. I just, we parged this about 15 minutes ago, so it doesn't take long before it's ready to brush. Well, I mean, it's fairly warm out today. It's probably in the 70s. This is kind of in the sun, so. You can use a not quite as stiff a bristle. It won't leave that as much of a texture to it. So it's all what you like. Try different brooms, different brushes. You can swirl it if you want. Or you can just smooth trowel it if you want to mess with that. I find this is a little faster. They're doing a lot of it. We're doing a lot of it today. Pretty good once you're done, right, Mm-hmm. Looks pretty good. I think that's a nice, fast, easy way to do it. Doesn't take long, guys. A decent look. Or you can smooth trowel if you want, whatever. It's kind of a smooth trowel if you just left it like that. You could take, uh, say you want a smooth finish. I'll show you how to get that. So we just charge it. 
I waited a little bit. I just missed it a little bit. The water. I'm just kind of over a little bit. Fill any little divots you got. Dip your feet right in there. It's a little bit wet. Yeah, this is only about the cards is about 15 minutes ago when it's reading the sun so. and it's windy out today warm windy and sunny so she's drying pretty fast be your smooth finish guys if you want to mess with it I think it's, it takes a lot longer unless you're really good with the trowel better than me so we're gonna go back to the brush finish but that's your smooth finish but I think this is way faster you're doing a lot of it like we are We brought that right back to life with a little water. Ta-da! It's magic, huh? Magical. It's magical. It's magically delicious. <laughs> That's the way we do it. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, that's pretty much it. That's how we parts these ICF basements. Um, pretty easy, I think. You know, you don't have to go that fast with the trowel. If you're, if you're new to this, just take your time. Trowel that stuff on there. Follow the steps that I gave you in this video, guys. And, again, if you like this stuff, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're putting out a lot of videos for you guys. I'm trying to help you out with this surreal user-friendly type of building system. You know, I've helped out some people building their own foundations for their own house. So, uh... You know, you got you concrete guys that are just getting into this. You know, this will help you out too. I used to be a block guy myself. You know, just a concrete block basement guy. So, thanks again, guys. You supporters. You know, you uh, subscribers that are supporting me. Thanks again. You know, all the comments and questions, good stuff. Keep them coming. I appreciate it. And. Uh, well, be one more thing, guys, before I go. This porch, that edge of that porch. I'm gonna. I'm going to stamp the edge of that porch. So I, I'm sure somebody's going to say that's ugly, and I agree. The edge of that porch doesn't look good. So we put a stampable product on there, and I'm going to do a video on how we did it, guys. So um, see you on the next video, guys. Thanks again for watching. Take care.